Julian Blanc got married. It's a fact. I will pop up proof and proof and proof and proof. The rumors have been circulating. Many people have emailed me and, and messaged me urgently saying, Julian mentioned he's going to be married in this, this video, this private video at a dinner. Julian mentioned he's engaged, this and this and this. And I was like, bullshit, right? Because the guy, those of you that are not familiar, RST Julian, he's classically known for fucking drama, okay? Back in the day, back in the, when RST wasn't full piece of shit, just 95% piece of shit. He had a little bit of valuable content. One of the only ones, okay? Maybe Jeffy as well. And he's all about... I'm the fucking biggest player. I'm the biggest fucking pimp, right? He literally made a product called Pimp, okay? Pimp my game. He also made a product called Ten Game, all right? Clearly this bitch or this girl, excuse my language, is not a fucking 10, not even close, okay? At best, a low 7. And, and you just see this over and over and over again in this industry, okay? Pardon. I don't know how haggard I look with this fucking overexposed webcam here. I, I literally am on zero sleep right now at, at 10.30 in the morning. I'm like trying to fucking bang out my whole rotation <laughs> before I move out of Warsaw. No rest for the wicked. No, but okay, so you guys saw my video about Todd, my, my video about standards. For those of you that, that have, maybe you haven't, I will link it below in the description. I, it, it's a disgrace in this industry, okay, that you have these gurus that are fucking dating these average chicks. Okay, RSC Brad dropped out of the game for this chick with a mannish face and a fucking big nose, okay? And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm all, you know, I've found my, my true love. And for all you fucking faggots that are going to be like, oh, well, uh, you know, it's on the inside that counts. And, you know, uh, I, I was just talking to a bunch of other advanced friends about this. There are awesome inside chicks that are also hot. Let me repeat that. Yes, it's, it's just the inside that counts. Yes, there's literally billions of women in the world. And to be a fucking leading guru and professional, okay, leading a group of men on how this is how you attain, okay, as an expert at the highest level, you can achieve an average chick, okay? Todd settled for a girl that's arguably below average, okay? I did a poll in my old forum, and she received like between a four and a six rating. Okay, been with her for like five years. Has a kid with her, raising a kid with her. Julian, now here's the pictures. And some of you will be like, "Why didn't you blur her face? Why didn't you blur her name?" Because I don't give a fuck. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. It's on social media. Why well, I don't give two shits? Oh, it's his private life. I don't care. Like you know, there, there's this industry is so soft and it's so sickening and it's so sad. Okay, like, and I'm going to transition into, into in some events that transpired involving myself at Sopot Summit in this past week where I, that were looked upon with disdain. But, okay, well, I, I'll actually, I'll, I'll jump into that right now because it ties in. Okay, there was a speaker at Sopot Summit, okay, and I, I, I'm not, this is no disrespect against, you know, the organizer, he's my friend and all this stuff, but there was a guy up there that was very beta, very pussy, giving off all kinds of beta body language, giving advice that was really wrong, just communicating like, well, uh, you know, just everything was a mess, right? And I stood up, okay, and stood up next to him in front of the crowd of 150 people or whatever, and I said, there's no way, look at this guy, there's no way this guy's fucking hot chicks. And everyone thought, you know, this is really rude, etc., etc. Of course, yes, it was, but... Am I going to go to a fucking make money online or, or become an affiliate millionaire or, or become a wealthy um, individual conference and, and sit there and listen to a homeless person talk? It, well, it's just fucking ridiculous. These guys that are, first of all, making these, these fucking girls, these average chicks, their girlfriend, these gurus, okay? It's, it's fucking out of control. Adam Lyons, he's like bragging in the news like, oh, I married two women. Okay, they're not even that cute, okay? Oh, I have two wives. I'm the luckiest man on earth. The only time I drop my 6 to 12 girl rotations, which have gotten out of control, moving closer into the 10 to 15, sometimes up to 17 range, is if I meet a girl that's above a 9, 
closer to a 9.5 that's full package. Surprise, surprise, you can have awesome chemistry and lots of fun in a great time with a full package chick that's hot. Like, what the fuck? That's also bisexual. Like, I've had multiple fucking young, super hot bisexual girlfriends, and we're just constantly, I train them in how to pull threesomes and foursomes, and I'm <clears throat> still fucking, <clears throat> this software is ridiculous, it keeps popping up. I got a new computer and it's popping up like, frames are being dropped, like, right in the middle of the fucking screen. Okay, like, time and time and time and time again, I, I could, I could just, I'm not going to bother like scouring around for, for pictures of these gurus, but what the fuck is going on, right? Like, and I have nothing to hide. Like I have pictures with these girls. I have videos with these super hot girls and guys are like, Oh, that's a prostitute. I have like months of footage with, with some of these nine fives. Oh, well, that's, that's a paid hooker. Okay. Yeah. I'm paying a, a paid hooker and all these various like date and, and hangout scenarios for months on end. The point is, and, and even when I do drop out of the, out of the game, so to speak, if you listen to my, for those of you that have had the privilege of listening to my five hour rant video on this channel, which, which gained a bunch of popularity, I talk about how even when I had a, a full package nine, five girl that I had tons of chemistry with, I was inadvertently cheating on her. Cause you can't just flip the switch off. And I ended up banging an Uber driver and a girl next to me on the plane. And like I had a threesome with two chicks at my holiday party. And I go into all those details in there. But I was, I deleted Tinder. I wasn't going to nightclubs. I was like actively trying to be a good boyfriend. Maybe that makes me sound like an asshole. But if you're a fucking, I'm not, and I'm, I'm not saying I should be like the ideal role model and you should just go be a piece of shit and you should just cheat and all this stuff. But the point is the gurus, that, that's why I fucking talk about late counts so much. I legitimately fucked over 1,100 chicks now. And so a lot of guys are like, oh, that, that's disgusting. Or, okay, like, wh what do you want to do? Do you want to just go fuck a couple average ones? Do you want to be like Todd or like fucking Brad Branson? Okay, fucking Wade Alters. Or uh, now the latest installment, Julian. Like, like look, at, look at this chick. We'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the fucking picture up again, either here or here. And it, like, what is this? And it, SoCal Christian Weddings. Like, <laughs> give me a fucking break. Like, this dude is a former coke addict, <clears throat> and he's putting out products about pimping my game and, and, and being a 10 and, like, all this stuff. They're full of shit, right? It's, it's no different than an internet marketer scamster that's like, here's all this get-rich-quick stuff, give me all your money, and then, oh, by the way, I have no idea how to fucking make money. That's what they did. Julian's products all recycled versions of itself. And then he made a bunch of money off of it. And now he got the privilege of selling down with this lovely soft seven. I will also add on another disruption I caused at Sopot Summit. RSD Alex was invited last minute. Again, no disrespect against the organizer of the event. Okay, RSD Alex carries some following well he's now alex of the four week natural but here's another perfect example of a fucking guy that is living the total opposite of what he's preaching and what he's teaching and what he's claiming to be a guru about namely his big mantra is there's no reason you're not enough okay that he repeats that all the time there's no reason you're not enough okay and he has a whole product about inner game and like conquering your demons and like all this stuff Here's the facts, and here's what I said in, in the very beginning of the speaker Q&A. Okay, first of all, I didn't even like him being there because he was peddling RST dog shit for years. Okay, and he all—I don't, don't even want to get started down that road. I'll probably make a whole separate video about him. There we go. Frames being dropped again. Okay, um, <laughs> it's like a, a, a top-of-the-line computer too. His program's obviously retarded. <clears throat> so. RSD Alex, in reality, even though no reason, there's no reason you're not enough, living out of a van, no joke, okay, a lot of this was told to me because he, he was running this four-week natural program, he still is running this four-week natural program, but he had coaches employed such as Bradicus and Justin Aguilar, like, from Let's Get Girl. I like Bradicus, a, lot, a bunch of these other coaches, whatever, but a bunch of people told me stuff, I'm not going to say who told me what or whatever, um, and other third-party sources told me stuff, 
this dude's in massive debt, raging alcoholic. I mean, I've had my problems with alcohol as well. I'm not going to shit on that, and whatever. But he's tried to kill himself a bunch of times. I'm not, I'm not, you know, ragging on or making fun of suicide or making, making light of that. But the dude clearly has a shitload of problems. He even has posted shit online, like on Instagram, where he's like crying in a bathtub with a, with a selfie. It's like, I feel, I feel sad, right? And like this dude's, like he all he lost all his coaches, he's it's just him. He's like ultra depressed, ultra in debt, living out of a van, literally living out of a van. And he said in a video that when RSC fired him, okay, he cried on the plane ride home. And <laughs> the re the reason RSC fired him, <coughs> okay, another piece of shit, you know, group of individuals. The reason they fired him is because rather than pay Alex, okay, who's now our, our Alex Social, Alex and Forward Natural, rather than pay him to run these uh, free tours, and or not free tours, hot seats, okay, to run these stupid hot seats, which is where they show the infield footage, um, which is largely just fucking either stage shit or just fucking shock stuff that doesn't normally work and is in solid game. They had Julian running them for free. And so they didn't even need fucking Alex, okay? But I said, like literally in the beginning of the Q&A, and it sucks because, you know, I, I had a bunch of value to give at the Q&A, but I wanted to make it known. I said, I stood up, and, you know, this makes me sound like a fucking dick, but the, the industry is soft. The industry, like, we are here to become fucking strong men, okay? Maybe I, maybe I approached this in the wrong way, but... Like, look at, look at, like, this is, like, an extreme example. Look at, like, the UFC, okay? Those guys aren't, like, stepping around on eggshells, right? They're in each other's fucking face. There's a guy that's having to separate them apart when they have, like, the, you know, the, the press conferences and stuff. And they're speaking their fucking minds, right? And I, I watch a bunch of that stuff. And, and they're, like, you know, let them... You know, let him come at come at me at this. Like he, like I'm gonna I'm gonna nail him here. I'm gonna nail him here. Like he has these weaknesses. I've found these holes in his game. Like they're literally talking about it. Like it's a skill game, and they're they're calling it one of Tony uh, Tony Ferguson when he's talking about fighting Habib. Right? They're both uh, 12 and 0 in their last 12 fights. Blah blah blah. In the UFC, he's like, this is gonna be a chess match. He's like, this isn't checkers. This is a chess match. And he and he has a lot of pride in the game. He's like, I put in my time. I put in my effort, I've put in the dedication and the determination and the, you know, he's, 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 he's put his whole life and soul into it. And that's what I've done with game. Okay. And he's like, so I bring it to the table and he's like, no one can talk shit. He's like, I have all the stats to back stuff up. He's like, I win the fights in this industry. I fucked tons of girls. I've had lots of serious, super hot girlfriends and, and guys all try to hate on that. Guys are constantly down in the lay count. Like the higher it gets, the more the more like incredulous people are because what what is the, the average lay count in the community? From most of the data I've seen from all my years of coaching and being around the, the shit nonstop, it's between five and twenty. Okay, and my most of my students clear one hundred within the first year, year to year and a half after they coach with me. But a guy that's up to five chicks, okay, and is doing this RSD garbage for years and getting nowhere. Maybe he gets another random fat girl every couple months. This is the facts. Again, this is, I, don't, I don't sugarcoat this shit. This is what's happening for all of you watching. Like, do you think I give a fuck about that audience? Like, the, all the audience is like, oh, that's not cool, man. And after I, I stood up and said to that next to that speaker, this dude does not fuck hot chicks, I left the room, right? And apparently, I asked people what happened after that, and everyone was like, "Don't be reactive, man! Don't be reactive." What that guy should have done is turn and said, "You know, it's not, it doesn't need to turn to a physical confrontation." But he he should have asserted himself. He should have stood up for himself. He should have fucking been a man, okay? Not necessarily to me. I mean, he should have to me. But even after the fact, he should have owned the situation. Instead, he just kind of, you know. Tried to be, tried to be unreactive, and that's what these little fucking kids in the forums do. Like, you literally have like one or two lay count. And it, <laughs> it's funny because Alex Villanchek from Playing with Fire, he's like, he's hung out with me a bunch, and he's like, 
I can tell <laughs> very funny but kind of sad observation about me about myself he's a, he's a good buddy and he didn't mean any offense by it and, and he I, I think he's right but he's like I can tell like the level of like respect that you that you have for a guy based on like your your voice tone fuck I just fucked the exposure on this hold on based on your on your voice tone and like your body language for him um He's like, the screen just went into fucking standby. Sorry, like adapting to the new computer. He's like, the level of respect, <laughs> frames being dropped. Sorry, I'm not going to edit any of this out either because I don't fucking care. I just want to get this video up. But the le he's like, the level of respect that like you're commanding for someone in your voice and your body language and stuff, he's like, it seems to directly correlate to their leg count. <laughs> Anyways, so... <laughs> These one or two lay count guys in the forums will will like try to trash talk me, okay? Which is basically like a fucking like handicapped and retarded and maybe like missing limbs individual like coming and trying to talk talk shit up like he knows more about basketball to like LeBron James. That that's basically what's that that's basically like a great analogy. Okay? And I, I don't think that that's Guys will call that arrogance. If you fucked one or two chicks, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. But these guys, this is why I stopped actually being in the forums, and this is why a lot of the advanced guys are driven out of the forums. You have these fucking retards, rather than being gracious and grateful and, and thankful and appreciative of a guy that's like a veteran, okay, like like Tony Ferguson said, he's put in, like he's dedicated his life to it. He's, he, I, you know how many fucking approaches? I've done tens of thousands of approaches. I have over 10,000 phone numbers in my phone, okay? I've been with over 1,100 chicks with just sex. I've no, I didn't count, I wish I had, I didn't count the hookup count, like like hookups that didn't close, that didn't end up, end up in sex, aka blowjobs and handjobs, and the countless other like makeouts and stuff. All the work put into all the dates and the texting, and it's a lot of fucking work. And you have some guy that, that maybe bangs some ugly chick off who knows what Tinder, like you know, a friend of a friend, or that was desperate or, or drunk, or who knows what happened. And he's gonna talk shit in the forum, okay? And I don't, I don't even know where I was going with this. I, I forgot my original point, but it's absurd, right? And and that's oh, I, I was saying I don't care what the audience thinks. Most of the audience, and again, for those of you that were at the conference. I don't mean any, any disrespect to you personally, and this applies to the wider YouTube audience as well, and to my, my fans or my, my viewers or, or whoever's watching this video. I don't mean disrespect to you personally, but you have been misled. I, I, re, I reiterate this over and over and over again all throughout all the different videos, and, and people th just call me a hater for it, and they, and they think that I'm just a shit starter and a shit talker and all that stuff. No, you have been misled. The community perpetually sucks. Guys perpetually do not get good at this. And it's done on purpose. RSD confuses you. I always point out RSD because they're like the industry leader currently, which is going to change very soon with all this paid traffic stuff that I'm, I've been doing. But, and guys will think that's, you know, grandiose. And, okay, we'll see. Give me six months. It's already, it's already well on its way but and the, and the, and the other the leaders are, are, are getting married to soft sevens and sixes are having a, having a baby poor fucking Todd that this is a guy that everyone is looking up to okay it's it's like if you want to, to go train with a basketball superstar and you're like he can't make a shot right you go to train with a race car driver and, and he, to learn race car driving and he can't fucking make a turn and he just crashes you you go train under a poker master, and he can't fucking win you know win any kind of decent amount of money. Like these guys are a disgrace. Okay, and and just fucking the point the point I'm trying to make here is uh, yes I agree it was probably the wrong way to go about it the way I did it, but it really fucking bothered me to be sitting there watching this this meek 
extremely pussy-like character giving a whole bunch of bad advice to impressionable guys when that's all I've seen over the, over the years is poor role models. Like even, even RC Alex, like, like some, one of my former students, he talked to RC Alex after the event and he said, is Tyler, Tyler much above 50 lay count now? And Alex was like, yeah, he's, he's probably closer to 75 now, but at least he's a good public speaker. Like, like Tyler is like the direct opposite of what women are attracted to, RC Tyler. Like literally the, the dramatic foil. Like try to get that through your head. At, like literally, and, and all, for all of you that are brainwashed with the RSC stuff and, and, and brainwashed that, that this guy really is some kind of fucking pimp hero, I, I, like, I made a whole video where I was sitting with a chick and none of that was scripted and I was like, what do you think when you, when you see this guy? Do a little fucking homework assignment. Take some of his videos, take some of his pictures, show some hot chicks. You probably don't, a lot of you probably don't know some hot chicks. Show some average chicks. Chick, you, you can even, ugly and average chicks can assess they, they all have the same fucking evolutionary programming. It's better if, if it's a hot chick because she's more selective. But she, they will say, he's beta, he's soft, he's, he looks like a fucking loser, he's awkward, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He tries to be the big cool man, and no matter how hard he tries, he can't fucking fool the girls. He can only fool a cult following with, with you know, cult tactics. So... It really, it was boiling my blood to sit there and listen to this fucking guy, okay, that was way off to these impressionable young men, because I, I just see this constantly. I just constantly see Coach Corey Wayne. I'll pop a, a picture up of him or maybe a, a video clip. Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, right? Squatting Casanova. A pickup artist boot camp. He's playing video games around the clock in his basement, and he's trying to hate on me back when I, when I call him out about that shit hate on a guy, a legitimate guy, like, it, it just goes on and on and on and on, right, like, I, I don't even, I, this is getting, turning into a rant, I don't want it to be a rant, but if you are fucking trying to kill yourself a whole bunch, okay, and you are suicidal and you're taking a, a picture in the bathtub that says, I'm sad, and, and you're fucking crying on an airplane, okay? That means you have serious fucking problems, okay? I'm not making fun of any of that, but that, me that means you are not, definitively, not an expert on inner game or teaching guys about that shit. Like, what the fuck? And so when, I, when the Q&A started, I got on the mic and I said, Alex, you fucking cried. I stood up. I addressed him personally. I said, Alex, you fucking cried after you got fired from RST. And he's like, what? He's like, what? And I'm like, I'm like, and you shouldn't be teaching in your game because you tried to kill yourself a bunch of times. And yeah, that's personal. And yeah, that's private. And, and yeah, it was a bit of a dick thing to do. But he's like, oh, I'm not taking this. And he gets up and goes to storm out. And they stop him. Oh, no, 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 Alex, come back. And they, they escorted me out. Okay. So I, I was kicked out of the out of the the Q and A, and I was there with a really hot. Ch <laughs> I was there with a, like a stunner chick that I had just taken her virginity that day. That's not that's not a joke. She was like t talking to another girl at the conference about. It. She's like, you don't care that he's fucked over a thousand girls. She's like, no. It's like the, their logic is so weird sometimes. She's like, no, like I actually am really attracted to her because he has a lot of sexual experience. And, I, and as I was being escorted out, I stopped and pointed at Alex right in his face. And I said, just remember, Alex, there's no reason you're not enough. And I think that's fucking great. And I, I live for that kind of shit. Right? And, I, and some of you think that makes me a fucking dick. Some of you think, you know, that, that I'm a... Guys are like, he's the dark side of the industry. The industry is full of soft fucking beta guys leading that that don't know what they're doing in game leading other soft beta guys that don't know what they're doing in game okay fact fact i can't fucking address that oh don't be reactive man keep keep acting like a fucking faggot up there oh bring bring alex back in like let's not all call him out on his fucking extreme inner game problems while he's trying to teach us all about inner game Okay, that's about it. 
I'm I'm uh, late for a fucking date. This is like a packed schedule here to see these fucking <laughs> I almost said cunts. And then I almost said bitches. But I will say lovely ladies. No, I don't I actually am very close to my rotation. I actually am very we have great bonds. Like we're basically boyfriend like boyfriend girlfriend without the label, but they know that I'm not their actual boyfriend. Except in some cases. Um but even though I, I, I use those terms, I, I actually respect them a lot and I, and, and I get close to them. That, that's not just lip service. Whereas a lot of these other dating coaches, they just want to just have one night stands, pump and dump, fucking leave the chick. Even guys like Chris Wilde, he's like, oh, I have a, no emotional connection to any girl ever. I think that's fucking sad. I think that's fucking stupid. And lastly, speaking of fucking Chris Wilde, Social Prime, who was leading up the, the summit last year in Europe, I put up a slide, this re relates to the whole theme here, I put up a slide, why I no longer respect Social Prime, and the reason was, because they used to, t and this was their conference, and I put up a slide that said that, and no one, they didn't stop me, no, no one objected, why, because everyone's a fucking pussy, they used to teach game as being a, a skill game, and their strategy and tactics, etc., and they started saying, uh, they, they changed their tune and said this is now a 0% skill game. There's there's no skill or tactics or strategy involved. And that is when my opinion changed. But, but, you know, fucking guys in the community will be like, oh, he just makes enemies with everyone he he works with. No, they changed their whole philosophy and it was completely incorrect. So I denounced working with them and called them out on YouTube. Oh, well, you had conflict with Sonny and you guys used to be buddies. Sonny started taking the stance that there's zero game and that everything is 100% looks, which is just as bad. Oh, let's start this whole looks max group, which does what? It gives guys a fucking like self-esteem complex where everyone's trying to be this Chad character, which is supposed to be this like ideal perfect man. And now you have a group where it's a whole bunch of fucking too cool for school guys like Sonny insulting other guys, oh, you have a weak jawline. Oh, you have uh, asymmet asymmetrical. <laughs> it's it's like hard to even fucking talk about it. It's so dumb. You have asymmetrical facial features. Like you're never gonna get girls. Like game isn't a thing. You just you just need to become a Chad. Like you just need to lift weights and that and that'll solve all your problems. It and so that that's what sparked like the big thing with Sonny, right? And then he, and then he's putting out books. That are like just mostly opinion, his own opinion. That are just frankly like shit books, and I, and I made a video about that, and we we and our friendship exploded over just you know mo largely derived from this looks max bullshit. That doesn't mean I make enemies with everyone I work with. It means I fucking keep it real, and I, I for you know that that doesn't go very far with most people. Because most people want to hear the fucking song and dance from RSD. Okay, they want to hear the fucking fairy tale, you know, from Julian about ten game. Okay, and be behind the scene, I'm I'm looking at things how they are. Okay, I'm looking at things like one of the only guys, and even though I fucking hate their company, one of the only other guys in the industry that keeps it real is Jeffy. That guy doesn't lie about his lay count. He admits that he bangs a bunch of fatties, but he also bangs some hot girls too. And he's fucking over 40 and he's still getting some hot girls. And he's a real fucking dude. Okay? I hate I think most of that company is full of shit. But I respect Jeffy. I'll never make a roast on him or, or fucking talk shit on him. Um very much. I mean he gets too fucked up on some boot camps, but that's happened to to us all. Um, so, in closing, for those of you that are still with me, I think we're coming up on about a half an hour, I'm fucking late for this date, uh, watch this clip that I'm about to put up, it is from the movie Scarface, I think this applies here, I feel like the character in this scene here, okay, and at the end of the video, or at the end of the, the fucking, uh, YouTube, I'm gonna link a parody to Julian's CNN interview where he acted like a giant fucking pussy, almost cried, okay, big bad Julian, like, I'm the man, I'm this, I'm that, completely fucking melted on 
public national television on CNN. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. He had a big scandal. He became the most hated man in the world and all this shit. He acted like a total fucking pussy fag, okay, on national television, almost just crumbling to the reporter, okay, and I, and I, I do a, a parody of it, and I'll put that link in the, <laughs> such a fucking dick, I'll put that link in the description as well, it's, it's well worth a watch and a good laugh, and you can Google for the original, maybe I'll put the original in the, in the, in the description as well, um, but it's sad. It's a sad fucking community. I, I, one guy, I, I don't respect all his stuff. One guy who did fucking own his shit and be the man and stand up to the media is Roosh V. When they were saying that, that they were trying to, the media was trying to, they were just, just, you know, slanting all his shit, trying to say that he was advocating that, that rape should be legalized or, or he was, he was pro rape. And he held a press conference and he was like, what the fuck bullshit is this? Because it escalated to the point where there were like people like staking out his house and putting his, his fucking home address and stuff. And he's like, you guys cause all this shit. If there's any harm to me or my family, it's all because of you and your misreporting and your fucking bullshit, right? And he called them all out and it was fucking awesome. And he, and he owned all that shit. And that's what we need more of. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not all about the like men going their own way whatever, whatever, the red pit, whatever, I don't even fucking follow any of that shit, just, if you're gonna be a fucking guru, be a guru, fucking own your shit, if you're teaching men how to bang hot chicks, okay, the, the end result of your career should not be marrying an average girl, am I wrong, have we all gone crazy, is this okay, okay, should people be called out, when they're they're living the should Tyler be called out when he's living the the direct opposite? Not only is he the direct opposite in real life of what he presents online, but he's actually living the complete beta loser life. Except he has money because he's ripping all of you guys off. Should he be called out for that? Yes, of course. Should Todd be called out for having a baby with, with a below average girl? Yes, of course. Should Julian be called out for marrying an average girl? Yes, of course. Brad Branson for fucking dropping out of the game for an average girl with a masculine face and big nose. Yes, of course. Should fucking Squat and Casanova be called out for playing video games in his basement around the clock, okay, and then breaking a whole bunch of laws, okay, and by the way, there's a bunch of active lawsuits in progress. Should Sonny be called out for making everything about looks? Should Social Prime be called out about making everything about fucking... Uh, it, childhood issues like li guys are literally going up in their boot camp I'm fucking getting really late right now so I'm going to end this in a second make sure you watch the Scarface clip because it's fucking awesome should uh, should <laughs> who's, who's I on now uh, but, oh yeah you, you, got, you have guys going up and in, in opening sets on their boot camps opening interactions and saying to the girl like hey I'm so and so uh, this happened to me when I was a child, being radically honest about their childhood, and it's cringe, and the girls are like, what the fuck? It's super weird. Okay? Should Max be called out for being just an internet marketer who's really good with social media and internet marketing? And yes, and it, I'm going to start, here, here's a little message for those of you that made it this far. I'm going to start banning anyone that fucking brings up the Max or I'm not afraid to do it. I've started creating it. I want to make it complete and thorough. And it's been a busy bunch of weeks, and it's not at the top of my fucking priority list. It will be coming. Guys, look, he's afraid now. He's giving up. And it, everyone thinks it's this funny joke to, to just mention it on every video. I'm going to ban anyone that fucking mentions it because it's getting fucking annoying. It's coming. Yes, he's a, a just a marketer. Okay, He plays Counter-Strike around the clock as well. <laughs> this is our industry. Welcome to the world of pickup. Okay? And you've got mystery stuck in 2006. That's why the new the new wave is coming. I sound like a fucking revolutionary. I've recruited the top underground guys. Things are going to be changing very soon. They already have begun changing. I have guys running programs across the world. But now we're really, really scaling up. Okay? And we're really going to fucking take over with real value. Like enough is enough with all this fucking garbage and all this shit. Okay? So for those of you that have made it with me this far, enjoy the Scarface clip. Like and subscribe below if you want to hear more fucking crazy shit coming in the future. 
And no, I have not had anything to drink for this video, but I am on zero sleep. Okay, enjoy the clip, and I will see you guys next video. And congratulations, Julian. I'm sure that's going to last a very long time before you cheat on her with some other fucking busted chick. Take care, guys. You don't even know how to be a husband. Get off my yeah, you without having to have your thug banging around all the time. Yes, yes, okay. I have Nick the pig as a friend. What kind of life is that? Come on. Can't you see what we're becoming, Don? We're losers. We're not winners. Oh, you're stoned. I'm not stoned. You're stoned. Hey, get out of here. Come on, come on. No. I'm not going home with you. I'm not going home with anybody. Let her go, let her go, man. Another quite loot, you're gonna love me again. We look at that. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You know why? You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. So, what I make you? Good? You're not good. You just know how to hide. How to lie. Me, I don't have that problem. Me, I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say good night to the bad guy. Go on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. Go on. Make way for the bad guy.